So, are you a K drama fan? You got me addicted. <laughs> <laughs> How many K dramas have you watched? I've been watching almost a year, probably two a week. Two a week? <laughs> like the whole series? Yeah, sometimes I fast forward if it's oh. sleepy. It's still like it's an hour show, like usually 16. 16 to 20. Oh my goodness. <laughs> sometimes 12. Sometimes 12. And sometimes they're short. Uh, so, how many is that? We're at 50 weeks. That's a lot of K drama. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started watching in March because of you, because you just kept talking about K dramas. It's a final watch. And how many did you watch? Well, I've kept a list. Oh, okay. So I have watched since March 34. 34 series? Yes. <laughs> They're hard to stop though because you get to the end of an episode and it's like <laughs> you just see what's going on in the next one and you go. Carries on. <laughs> What's your favorite genre then? Um, I like some of the dramas are really good. Um, but I like ones with action or mystery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Action mystery, yeah. Like a thriller. A thriller. Um, some of the romantic comedies are hilarious because it's all on a misunderstanding, like. It's actually, it's actually a man that's playing a woman, or, or <laughs> like it's, yeah, there's, there's some interesting twists. Yes. It's got to have a twist. It has to have a twist. What's your top five Korean drama? Okay, well we had a really hard time with this. We came up with categories, <laughs> um, and you said that was too many, so we came up with our top five. Okay. One I found hilarious, and I like historical dramas. Mr. Queen. Mr. Like, Queen? Mr. Queen. That was, that's on my top five, too. Like, it's so funny. The first episode, I was like, what are you making me watch? <laughs> like, yeah, it's a little looks, confusing. This looks stupid. And then, kind of, by like the third or fourth episode, I was like, this is amazing, and it's so funny. And, yeah, it's just funny. And the food. The food. Yeah. A lot of Korean dramas, um, the food, is, it makes you want to go eat a snack. Because mm. <laughs> it's, they really showcase Korean food. So that's uh, five? Fifth? Top, top five. Oh, oh. We're just saying top five. There's no ranking of the, within the top five. That's your top one, Mr. Queen. Yeah, and you like the actor and actress? He's one of my favorite actors, and she's one of my favorite actresses. And let's say her name. <laughs> so her name is Shin Hae Sun. I just, when I know when she's mm. in a drama, I know it's gonna be good. good. Yeah, and him, Kim Jong Hyun, he was in Crash Landing on You. He was the ex fiance. Right. <laughs> so, Crash Landing on You is the one. There was two dramas I watched pre you getting me into dramas. Like and when we lived one. in Korea and Crash Landing on You was one. And it's like my favorite all time drama. I love Crash Landing on You. Okay, so is that our number two? I would agree that was a good one. Was that the number two? No, we're each doing five. Oh, okay. We have different vibes. We're each doing five. Okay, what's your next one? My next one is Good Detective, which was two seasons, and it was about a... I haven't watched it. ...older detective, and yeah, just some of the cases they solved, and he was just kind of a worn-out old guy, but he hadn't lost his passion for solving crime. It was good. It was, yeah. Okay. You're um, number three. Number two. Yes, number two. <laughs> Sorry, number two. Um, mm -hmm. I love hometown cha cha cha. Yeah, it's that's cute. like. Okay. It reminds me of Peter's hometown minus the ocean, because uh, it's like old ladies and this like cute couple, and it's just. She's the only dentist she's in the town. She's the only dentist in town, and they're both good looking, and. 
Oh, they're just so cute. <laughs> they are cute. They are cute, dude. And it's not a cheesy love story. Looks like a cheesy. No, it's Is not. Is it comedy? It was pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. And there's a supporting actor in there called Johan Chul. Mm -hmm. And he's the guy with the voice. Really he's an older he's he's an older actor or middle age, I would say. Your age? <laughs> My age. No, Peter's age, probably. No, he's not. How old is he? The one with the voice? Yeah. Like is he ancient? Oh, you have to Google this. Never mind, keep going. <laughs> anyway, he's got this voice that Mom loves. <sighs> Well, it's just so interesting. I saw him in a historical drama. He played the king, and it's like Shakespeare. Mm. Like if he was, I don't know how his English is, but he could play Stratford. Like, like really, and... really good actor. Mm. And really great drama. Hometown Cha Cha Cha. Yeah, that's cute. It's so cute. Your third. My third would be. Crash Course in Romance. Different than Crash Landing on You. Different than Crash Landing on You. And it's about a mm. Hagwon, and he teaches high school math, and he's kind of this superstar Il Kendo. teacher in Korean. Mm. Okay. Mm. And it's it's cute, it's funny, it's there's a misunderstanding. He thinks she's married, she's not. Um, so he's avoiding her and trying to be, <laughs> trying not to fall in love with her. And he, in the end, he does anyway, but he finds out she's not married. And mm. It's all cute. And okay. Good. Mine would be Bad and Crazy. Oh, oh, your favorite actor. My favorite actor. Yeah, love him so much. Lee Dong Wook. Bad and Crazy. Bad and Crazy? Yeah, I love both the actors that are in it, but anything that Lee Dong Wook is in, I think is hilarious, and he's so good, and he's so handsome, and it's just, <laughs> he's amazing. He is a good actor. He's an amazing actor, yeah. and with that show, it was so much suspense and like twists. And like, yeah, for a long time I didn't know what was going on. I had no idea, but that's, you just, I think I watched it in a day and a half. Because, yeah. Because I was like, what, who, who what are is, you? What is happening? <laughs> Have you seen that one, Peter? I haven't watched <laughs> any, like, except for Good Detective. So far, that's the only one I have oh, watched. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. your next one. Lee Dong Wook. Um, I liked Alchemy of Souls. Only the, the second. I liked the first one. It was okay. But the second one was really, I, I really liked it. Like, it was... There was mystery, there was action, there was a beautiful girl. Like, she's one of the most beautiful actresses I've ever seen. It's What's her. the show called? Alchemy, Al of, Alchemy Souls. of Souls, the, the second one. And the actress is Go Young Jung. Is that how you'd say that? Young Jung? Young Jung. The first season was really long, it was like 20 episodes, and it was kind of like. Okay, and then the second yeah. season, it was like, why is there only dead? Yeah. Because <laughs> oh. it was so good. Yeah. It's not on my top, but my okay. next one, fourth, we're on fourth, okay. is <coughs> Reborn Rich. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Reborn Rich. Reborn Rich. Reborn Rich. Reborn Rich. Reborn Rich. Reborn Rich. Oh, I watched this one. Did you? Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh. Watch dramas too? Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you like Reborn Rich? Yeah. It's your favorite? Yeah. Although I loved Reborn Rich, but I Greek hated girl. the ending. Greek Yeah, it was Greek <laughs> But the ending, I hated the ending, and apparently it's based on a webtoon. And the ending in the webtoon is different than the ending in the drama. And I like the ending in the webtoon better. Because in the ending of the webtoon, he stays the person that he becomes in the drama. You know what I liked about that one is history and you knew what was coming. Yeah, because it wasn't, because it's history we lived, just 90s yeah. history. Yeah, 90s and 9-11 and he knew, yeah, he knew Titanic was going to be a hit. And... Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, people were like, don't invest in Titanic. And he's like, invest, invest in, in Titanic. Titanic. Yeah, so he knew. 
And like the, or like the Korean World Cup. That oh, Korea would make yeah. it to the semifinals. Like he knew that, so he had his whole promotion based on, it's just a really good drama. Yeah. But a terrible ending. Terrible ending. So what did you yes. give it? Like, I gave it, I gave it five stars anyway because I loved it so much that I let the last episode go and just changed it in my mind. And the grandfather in that one. Peter. Very good actor. Lee Sung Min. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. And I like that yeah, the main Song Jung Ki. Anything he's in is good. Yeah. He's another person that if he's in the drama, it'll be good. Yeah. I love I I really like his well, I mean he's good looking, but I like his voice. Mm -hmm. You could just close your eyes and listen to his voice. It's just something about it. I'm into voices. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Okay. What's your next one, Mom? What's your last one? <coughs> oh, Sorry. no one's gonna watch a Korean drama? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Don't watch. Watch Pinterest. I am. You go. You go. Not Louis. Yeah. K drama? K drama. A romance one. Here you go, Noah. Good luck. Okay, fifth. Divorce Attorney Shin is oh. probably it is one of my favorites. And I love the act I like there's three guys in that movie and they're all good actors, but Cho Seung Woo. And he is also in Stranger 2. He plays in a uh, prosecutor. Because it's, yeah, it's good. Um, I think probably one of my favorites is Vincenzo. Another. Vincenzo. 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 That's cute. It's just action and mafia and lawyers doing tricky things. What's that actor's name that has a funny name that looks like your brother? Teiko. Taegyun? Yeah. He's, like, they're all just really good they at it. They are very good actors. And my my Shakespearean guy is in it, too. Yes, your, your Shakespeare guy. <laughs> the guy He's with the everything. voice. Oh. He's in Hometown Cha Cha Cha. He's in that one. And He's the one I'm watching now, Match Matchmaker. He's in a lot. He's in a lot of drugs. Drugs. Okay, so that was it. That was it. So That's your good chance. I think so. It's entertaining. Yeah, I'd watch it again. Yeah, I think that's probably what I watch it again. <clears throat> yeah. That's how I make my top five. And I would watch all of those again. So you guys like uh, these drama better than such as a Squid Game? Or... She hasn't seen Squid Games. Oh. Squid Games. Have you watched Squid Games? I, I did. I'm and is it good? Another season. I, I told you to watch Squid Game. You think I, I was, was? I was kind of leery because I heard all these things about it that was gory and it's not gory. Oh, what is gory? It's lots blood. of blood and oh, it's like not, violence is okay, but I don't like it if it's gory. Not really. No, there's no blood. They just die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like real ones that I cry a lot. <laughs> Which one have you cried the most in? Um, I know which one I've cried the most I, in. I'll tell you. The Red Sleeve. The Red Sleeve. The Red Sleeve. Yeah. Red Sleeve. And, um, I've got lots more to do. Yeah, you, it looks like <laughs> you have lots more, so let's do it again.